All right, the trick stacking the rings. This is probably the most difficult trick I've ever taught my dogs. Definitely required the most patience. It's not something you're gonna be able to do in one session or even two. I believe it took me and Joker seven, eight, nine, ten 10 sessions, but it's a pretty fun trick. So the first step of this is to just build value on the top of the yes. stick there. You just want your dog's nose to touch that, then be pretty deliberate here. So I'm just gonna be shaping that behavior here with XO. She's never seen this before, so she's of course offering a whole bunch of little behaviors. So I'm just kinda waiting until yes. she gets a little close with her nose, marking it with a yes and giving her a cookie. All right, once your dog is really understanding to yes. hit the top of the stick with their nose, you can move to a standing position. Yes. I'm also here trying to yes. keep her moving so that she doesn't sit or lie down. Yes. I'm trying to anticipate when her nose is going to yes. hit the top of it, marking with my yes, yes. Oh. and getting the treat out of there. I'm really trying to get rid yes. of that paw behavior, yeah. so I'm trying to be a little yes. early with my yes. Right when I know yes. she's about ready to hit it with her nose, I say yes, yes to try to make it clear to her that it has nothing yes. to do with her paws. I also keep yes. setting the reset cookie because it's going to be very similar to yes. me tossing that ring and her going to get it. Yes. Here we have Joker doing the same behavior, just yes. a little more advanced. He's very clear it's his nose yes. that's hitting it. I was lucky with Joker that he had the retrieving of the rings pretty naturally, but this is the stage that you want to get with your dog before you put them together. So here we're just basically retrieving the rings. Okay, this is the part that really might test your patience. This can take a while. Um, I'm really building value here to the ring close to the stacker here, so um, I'm not going very far and kind of just reinforcing yes. that it has something to do with him dropping the Yay. ring right by the stick and Yay. just Good reinforcing boy. that a little bit and having fun with that game. But you yes. definitely need to be patient yes. here, keep the sessions really short, yes. try to end on a good note and be prepared yes. for possibly a dozen yes. or so of these sessions. It might be luck when they finally get the one ring on there, and as you'll see here in a second, we're gonna be yes. jackpotting that. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. All right, so after building the value yes. that the ring needs to be near the stick, now I'm starting to throw the ring. Basically just yes and clicking when he brings the ring near, and of course jackpotting it if he happens to get the ring on it. And then here afterwards, I'm again building value of what he just did. Look at you just put the ring on there, good. And I just kept rewarding that. So to help the stacker not tip over so easily, you can nail it to a flat board and that way it won't be able to go. I never did that, but I could see how some dogs would just kind of yes. get too excited and it move too quickly. So that is something that Yay! might help your dog be able to get the ring on the stacker a little better. Yes, good job! Yay! Good boy. Okay, so after many sessions of getting the blue ring, the biggest ring on the stacker, I move to the next size ring. Of course, they're gonna keep getting more and more difficult as the ring keeps getting smaller. So make sure you're taking breaks and you're doing this in lots of different sessions. And just keep progressing. Okay, blue one.